All right, so let's try one where we multiply. I'm gonna try to see if I can put this all on one table. I'm gonna have my X column, my F of X column, my G of X column, and then my F times G of X column. All right, let's start with the, the domain, same as before. Let's choose negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. We don't have to choose those numbers. I just chose them because it'll be easy to see them on the graph because they're close to the y-axis. So I'm gonna start with f of x is two x, and I'm gonna put negative two in here. So two times negative two is negative four. Two times negative one is negative two. Two times zero is zero. Two times one is two, and two times two is four. Now I'm gonna go use the g function with the same domain. Three times negative two is negative six. Three times negative one is negative three. Three times zero is zero. Three times one is three. And three times two is six. So if I graph this first one, it begins at zero and it goes up two over one. So the graph kinda of looks something like this. Notice the domain for this one is negative infinity to infinity. The other one, y equals 3x, looks like this. Kind of looks like that. It also has a domain of negative infinity to infinity. But what, watch what happens whenever we graph the multiplication of those two functions. So if I multiply the outputs, I get 24. Multiply the outputs, I get 6. Multiply the outputs, 0. Multiply the output 6, multiply the output 24. So when I graph this one, negative 2 for the input, 24 for the output. That goes off the graph. <clears throat> negative 1 for the input, I'm at 6. At 0, 0, and at 1, 6. So you can see this one actually graphs and looks like a parabola. So when I multiplied a linear and a linear, the new function that was created is a quadratic. And you can see how this would be if we do this problem algebraically. So if I multiply the f function times the g function, the f function was 2x times the g function, which is 3x, and 3x times 2x is 6x squared. So that's the new function that was created by multiplying. Now, we don't want to have to do the graphing every single time to see what our new function is. So from here on, we're just going to go use the algebraic method. So let's go down and do the next one. I've got a function 2x plus 1. That's linear. So the domain would be negative infinity to infinity if I was asked. This one's linear, negative infinity to infinity. So now let's go see if we can find the multiplication of those. So f g of x means f of x times g of x. f of x is 2x plus 1. I'm going to multiply that times g of x, which is x plus 3. So when I multiply, I get 2x squared plus 6x plus x plus 3. So the new function is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. And this is a quadratic function. Say, the same as addition and subtraction, whatever places these intersect is going to be the same for your new domain. So our new domain on this one is going to be negative infinity to infinity. Remember back whenever we were adding, we said Wherever these would cross, that's where our new domain would be. That's the same thing for multiplication. Since there's values for x all the way over here and all the way over here, our new domain is going to have values for x to negative infinity to positive infinity.